Since the beginning of time, the power of weather has fascinated man. From its delicate change of seasons to its sporadic rages of fury, weather is a force of nature to be revered. It has led some to fear and others to worship its awesome power. A phenomenon that influences our everyday lives. Today, through the advancements of meteorology, it is now possible to forecast weather for any location in the world. Through the advancement of technology, we now have the ability to make weather information accessible to everyone. As meteorology and technology continue to evolve, so will our need for weather information. May 2nd, 1982, the evolution began with the launch of cable television's only 24-hour network devoted entirely to weather, the Weather Channel. And good evening, America. Welcome to the Weather Channel, the non-ending weather telethon. I'm Bruce Edwards. Glad to be with you this evening. And I'm Andre Bernier. Glad you can join us from wherever you're viewing across the country. Hello, everybody. From its humble beginnings with a national audience of only 2.5 million homes, the Weather Channel has grown to almost 72 million. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Weather Center, sponsored by King Coba. I'm Bruce Edwards. And I'm Cheryl Lemke. Thanks for joining us. Nationally, the Weather Channel is in 95% of all cable television homes. The Weather Channel also owns and operates the Weather Channel in Latin America, with an audience of 3.4 million subscribers, bringing its total viewership to more than 75 million households worldwide. The Weather Channel employs more than 80 full-time meteorologists and maintains millions of dollars of specialized equipment to produce local forecasts and reports for the entire nation. While the network uses raw data gathered from the National Weather Service and other sources, our meteorologists conduct their own analysis to produce the weather forecast. When the weather is at its worst, the Weather Channel is at its best. Viewers are kept up to date with live reports, in-depth analysis, and monitoring and tracking of the latest weather developments, alerting viewers to what's happening now and what is going to happen next. Hi, this is Jim Cantori in Freeport, Maine. The snow continues tonight and the roads are slippery. Viewers travel to the front lines of a storm with the Weather Channel through blizzards. We've already had nine, almost 10 inches of snow, and now we're getting the combination of these strong northerly winds blowing and drifting the snow. Hurricanes. And we are seeing very strong winds of hurricane force. We are in the eye wall at this time. And other severe weather situations. I have to thank the Weather Channel because we did have such uh, advanced warning that this was going to be a major storm. The Weather Star is a patented system of satellite technology exclusive to the Weather Channel. The Weather Star design is to transmit thousands of customized weather forecasts simultaneously. As the network broadcasts a signal via satellite, custom equipment at each cable location decodes the transmission, extracting the appropriate forecast for viewers in that specific location of the country. Many cable systems are equipped with the Weather Stars, allowing the presentation of weather forecasts using icons, graphics, and time-lapse views of local radar. Weather.com is the premier weather content site online. Weather.com is also consistently rated in the top five websites for news, entertainment, and information resources. Internet users can access current conditions and forecasts for over 1,700 cities worldwide, along with local and regional radar. Weather.com Espanol and Weather.com Brazil provide detailed weather information for Mexico and South America. Each site provides the same expertise of the Weather Channel meteorologists. Get the weather information you need with a telephone call from the Weather Channel. Dial 1-900-WEATHER for the current conditions and forecasts for over 1,600 cities worldwide, offering specialized forecasts for skiing conditions along with boat and beach reports. Get severe reports and driver's reports. You can even have the Weather Channel send you a wake-up call featuring the weather for the city of your choice. Good morning from the Weather Channel. This is your wake-up call. Today, variable cloudiness with a chance of showers and temperature 87 degrees. Next time you fly, get the weather conditions for your destination before you land with the Weather Channel and GTE in-flight airphone service. From the Weather Channel, Alan Jackson for San Diego's News Radio 600 KOGO. 
In over 250 radio markets across the United States, the Weather Channel is available to radio stations through the Weather Channel Radio Network. Equipped with state-of-the-art meteorological systems and a staff of experienced radio broadcasters, the Weather Channel Radio Network can deliver live and recorded forecasts to affiliate stations. The Weather Channel newspaper service provides customized weather packages to newspapers across the United States. The local forecast may be displayed in a graphic or text format. National and international forecast maps can be in either color or black and white. Special features are available like boating and surf reports, along with particular lifestyle information such as ski reports. Satellite images for the nation or a specific region enhances the weather sections. The Weather Channel is the leader in weather information, consistently developing its star technologies with its current unveiling of the new Star XL, while consistently focusing on new and emerging technologies with broadband, digital TV, wireless and interactive TV, applications for partnerships that include Wink, WorldGate, Web TV, At Home, AT&T Wireless and others. We are using technology to strengthen our weather information and seeking new avenues to distribute it effectively. The future of meteorology rests in the hands of our children. When I was about 11 years old, my mom gave me a book. It's kind of beat up now, but it was all about shipwrecks. And I must have read this book a hundred times. The storms, the hurricanes, it was all really fascinating. As far back as I can remember, I was always really intrigued by science. It was such a big love for me to study meteorology, climatology, that type of thing. I got excited about this phenomenon that affects everyone. The set's just a little bit different than the one I built in my basement when I was a kid. My dad was a newsman. He'd bring home scripts and weather maps that we could play with. I always did the weather. I'm sure other kids were interested in weather, but I was the only one that was a real fanatic about it. I used to sit on the front stoop and watch the wind blowing the trees around, the clouds moving fast. Now I look at the winds on a computer, and I tell people about it. Studies have shown that when children have the opportunity to focus on the sky and nature, they tend to become more creative. You can teach art, you can teach cloud identification, you can teach flight, you can teach astronomy, you can teach um, pollution and acid rain and all of those other things. It all comes out of just looking up. The Weather Classroom is a partner of Cable in the Classroom, which offers commercial-free programming to students, educators, and parents. The Weather Classroom goes behind the scenes to demonstrate how the weather works and explains the forces that we take for granted every day. Teachers can record episodes from Cable or access the Weather Classroom on weather.com. The website provides programming schedules, previews, teaching guides, and hands-on experiments. Safety is just as important as the hows and whys of weather. The Weather Channel has teamed with the American Red Cross and National Safety and Education Preparedness and Relief Initiative, Project SafeSide. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Dole. On behalf of the American Red Cross, I want to thank the cable industry for participating in Project SafeSide, a severe weather awareness program sponsored by the Weather Channel. By supporting SafeSide, cable companies bring vital information to your community, helping the Red Cross save lives and property. We encourage everyone to prepare before severe weather hits home. Project SafeSide's goal is to raise national awareness of the need to plan and prepare for extreme heat, flooding, hurricanes, lightning, tornadoes, winter weather, and earthquakes. Our findings show that nearly half of all Americans do not know where to go if advised to evacuate. Less than half of all Americans have discussed with their families what to do in a weather disaster. Only a quarter of all Americans have practiced what to do in a weather emergency. Less than half of all Americans have stored water set aside. 30% of Americans do not have a first aid kit in their homes. Only 17% of all Americans store their disaster supplies kit in one place. Project SafeSide, showing American families how to prepare by giving the information needed to remain as safe as possible during a weather emergency. The best time to plan and prepare is now.
In a world that is constantly changing, it is important for us to continue developing the science of meteorology because no one is immune to the power of weather. The Weather Channel will continue to explore new technologies to deliver more accurate and informative weather information. The Weather Channel, defining the future of weather communications worldwide.